Hey there! Hello! Can you see me? Well, why you can't see me right now? Definitely we have our eyes. But can you still see me? Oh, well, it's also about light. Look around, we see things because of the presence of light. But what is actually a light? Alright, let's travel in time to understand. During the golden age of enlightenment in Greece, Socrates and Plato speculated that vision happens when luminous rays produced from our eyes is being reflected from an object back to our eyes. Whoa, a strange idea. Unfortunately, Let's move forward. Way back in 17th century, our conception of light was centered in two opposing ideas. Guys, meet Isaac Newton and Christian Huygens. According to Newton, light are streams of a small particle called corpuscles. These corpuscles have negligible masses and travel in a straight line. Luminous objects just like the sun produces a huge number of these particles. What made him conclude light in this way? Let's see. I will struck the beam of light in the mirror and look what happens. Voila! The light bends as it hits the surface of the mirror, which according to Newton can only be explained if light is a particle. His theory was accepted by most of the European scientific community throughout 1700. So, does it mean lights are particles? Hmm. Not all people were convinced with this idea. If lights are particles, why there is no bumping among the corpuscles if we have another light source? Just like this. Well, here comes another theory. According to Christian Huygens, light is a wave. Just like sound and water waves that exhibit wave characteristics. Light also display this which cannot be explained if light is a particle. No scientist in the endeavor of showing that light is a wave motion is Thomas Young, a brilliant scientist whose works in diffraction and interference strongly support this wave theory of Christian Huygens. Let's take a look with this one. We have here a laser pointed on the wall and strand of my hair. If I will pass this strand in the laser beam, what do you expect to witness? Let's see. Unbelievable! What happens actually is that when waves encounter an obstacle which is the hair, the waves bend around the corners of this obstacle. The waves passing on it interfere with each other causing a destructive interference shown as the dark spots and a constructive interference shown as the light spots. So, what is light then? A particle or a wave? Well, light is an electromagnetic wave that sometimes behaves like a particle and sometimes like a wave, but neither to be called as a particle nor a wave. This is what the quantum mechanics speaks of as dual property of light. 